funny that you mentioned that. Speaking of updated technology, uh, one thing that we've been moving toward, and I'm sure Tanya would probably be excited about this too, is uh, moving into something called Stellar, which is basically uh, multiple listing services. But uh, before, what we were using was Gainesville. Gainesville, the local MLS, and we still use Gainesville's local MLS, Absolutely. but Stellar um, is another MLS, and it tends to service the I-75 corridor, so all the way down from Ocala, all the way down past Tampa. So now, of course, we're members here at Gainesville MLS, but we're also members of Stellar MLS, which, which again, gives us access all the way from, heck, out there, Gilchrist County, where I'm at, to Tampa. And um, so Tiana is... Um, the point person for putting our properties into Stellar, and, and I know that you really like that system. Absolutely, it's really user friendly. So one thing that it really helps me with is uh, if I'm listing a property outside of Gainesville, let's say like Ocala, first of all, we can expand our territory a little bit. And I yeah, can look- Which we have. Mm -hmm. And that's great, um, definitely needed that. I think it allows me to look at market value prices, not just again, in the Gainesville area, but outside of, of our, our city lines. And it also lets me look at how many views we've had on listings and gives me a real full market report that's extremely easy to pull up. Um, I love giving homeowners their updates every Monday. So having that stellar report, I think has just made it a lot easier to know how many agents have viewed the property, how many clients have viewed the property or saved the property. Um, again, much more user friendly. Uh, speaking also on a buyer's side, it does allow me to set up a listing cart, which basically sends buyers properties that fit their criteria. And uh, when I'm comparing it, I mean, of course, Gainesville has that access as well. Uh, but I think Stellar, again, just a little bit of a touch more uh, easy, user-friendly. User -friendly. Yeah. Absolutely. It basically creates a portal where the buyer can go in and view all the properties, let us know which ones they like, or make little comments on different properties that they're interested in. Um, so again, a lot easier to use with yeah. as buyers and sellers. So I think we'll let you go ahead and, and then now that you are talking about mm -hmm. listing properties, we brought on a new tool, another resource for us for our social media marketing, because as you guys might guess, I mean, that's where it's at. at Social media marketing is where real estate has moved to when you're trying to find something for rent or, or um, for sale. Um, having, you know, posting those pictures on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Google Plus and Google, well, it's Google business pages now. But um, there's just so many places to go and so many things to do with it. So we have brought in um, really some fantastic automation in that arena too. So you want to talk about it? Absolutely. Listings to leads? Yes. So listings to leads is a new platform that we've been using. And really what it does is it integrates from the listings uh, that we list on MLS and it automatically populates them to listings to leads. And it then sends it out to uh, our social media. So that primarily includes Facebook. That's one of the most important that we like using. And what it allows us to do is also share the link with the homeowner so they can then, of course, share it with their friends and family and it does increase the traffic. I've, we've seen properties, I mean, truly, it actually gives us a weekly update as to how many views we get and you could definitely see the properties with the more views do tend to sell or lease out much more quickly than the ones that have less views. So the more shares we have and the more times a homeowner uh, reposts it to their profile, uh, you're definitely getting a lot more traffic on that listing. And again, it's basically just taking the same details as when we listed the property on MLS, but it's letting people know on Facebook or Instagram or any social media, hey, look at my new property, here's some photos, click on it, come take a look at it. And uh, even if people are just looking at it with no interest of buying or renting it, having that increased traffic really does increase um, basically what we call Google juice. <laughs> and uh, what that does is it allows your listing to increase on those platforms where actually gathering more organic views after you have enough people clicking on it. So it really does drive more renters or buyers to your property. Yep. So that is a um, also a good segue into another program that we started using this year called Deliver It. 
it's deliberate without the E whenever yeah. you're Googling it. But deliberate is a program that Ashley works with quite a bit because again, the way that we're able to keep our properties um, visible and getting a lot of activity is to promote them on the internet and to increase our SEO, search engine optimization for, for those properties. And so the program Deliberate allows us to pre-schedule things and it also allows us to feed, have a direct RSS feed from let's say Realtor.com or Coastal Living Magazines or all these different places that um, in property management resources, um, landlord tenant laws, and it allows us to feed that stuff in through our social media, so Twitter and... Yeah, just an online presence. Like you said, you gotta have an online presence these days. It's, I mean, it's a real driving point. So Deliverit just allows us, like you said, to set up all those leads, sites that we get prevalent information from. Um, it passes that easily on to anyone who follows us on Facebook. It, they get that information right away. It also, we do uh, some local things. You know, normally on the weekend when I get the Gainesville newsletter, I'll try to list local events or farmers markets just to give our um, tenants or owners some ideas of things going on locally. But if you want to build that online presence, I think whether it's Deliverit or any similar program, you can just go on there and all your social media, Facebook, Twitter, um, if you have multiple Facebook pages, you just put it in there once, you schedule it, and it sends it out to everything because I couldn't imagine if I had to go into all those sites individually and set the articles up. I mean, I would easily kill an hour to two hours a day to get three or four. Maybe yeah. it was so, I, I don't even know the number. It's just so easy. I go in there and I can do 10 in a matter of minutes, but I mean, gosh, it, it would take hours to do that to have to log into every site. Yeah. 